Bridge mode is a crucial network configuration that transforms your Xfinity wireless gateway from a combination modem router device into a simple modem only. Your Xfinity gateway normally functions as both a modem that connects to the internet and a router that manages your home network devices. Bridge mode disables the routing capabilities of your Xfinity gateway, turning it into a simple modem. This allows your Netgear router to take full control of managing your network. Most importantly, bridge mode prevents double NAT problems. Double NAT occurs when you have two routers creating separate networks, which can cause connectivity issues and poor performance. Now let's walk through the process of enabling bridge mode on your Xfinity gateway. This process requires accessing the gateway's admin interface. First, connect your computer directly to the Xfinity gateway using an ethernet cable. This ensures a stable connection for the configuration process. Next, open a web browser and navigate to tendo.0.1. This is the default IP address for accessing your Xfinity gateway's admin interface. Log in using the default credentials, username admin and password password. In the admin interface, navigate to Gateway, then at a glance. Look for the Bridge Mode option and click Enable. You'll need to confirm this action and the Gateway will restart to apply the changes. Keep in mind that enabling Bridge Mode will disable Xfinity's XFi features, including advanced security and Wi-Fi boost pods. After Bridge Mode is enabled, you'll manage your network entirely through your Netgear router instead of the Xfinity interface. Once bridge mode is successfully enabled, your Xfinity gateway will function as a simple modem, and you'll be ready to connect and configure your Netgear router for optimal network performance. Now that bridge mode is enabled, we need to physically connect your Netgear router to the Xfinity gateway. This connection is crucial for your router to receive internet access. Use any available ethernet port on your Xfinity gateway. However, if you experience connection issues, make sure to use port 1 specifically, as this is the recommended port when the gateway is in bridge mode. After making the physical connection, you need to power cycle both devices. This is important. Restart the Xfinity modem first, wait for it to fully boot up, then restart your Netgear router. Now you need to access your Netgear router's configuration interface. You can do this either through the Netgear Nighthawk mobile app or by using a web browser on your computer. Once you access the router settings, you'll see the configuration interface. Here, you can set up your Wi-Fi network name, also called the SSID, and create a secure password for your network. After configuring your router, connect your devices to the new Wi-Fi network. If you experience any issues, double check that the ethernet cable is connected to port one on the Xfinity modem. Note that some users may experience slightly reduced wired speeds after enabling bridge mode. 